And for more on the emergence of Ashwa Jabal Ahmed Zinubo as the governing APC, the presidential flag bearer in 2023, let's speak with the chairman, Northern Young Professionals for Tinubu, Abdullah Tanko Yakasai, who joins us live from our Boja studios. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. I, I, well, you are chairman of the Northern Young Professionals for Tinubu. Thank you so much. Okay, let's begin with your, what informed your decision to set up a support team for the APC standard bearer even before his emergence. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, honestly, you see, Nigeria, we need to have this rotational presidency as it has been talked about all the time. And for APC, we have had President Muhammad Buhari for eight years, who is from the northern part of the country. So we feel it is only right we look within the southern part of the party who has the capacity to take over from President Muhammad Buhari. And after we sat down and think about it, everyone has come to agree within our ranks that Aswaju Bola Metinubu is that man that can take over from President Muhammad Buhari come 2023 and continue on those programs and his own programs. Because if you're looking for leaders, you look at their antecedents. And Bola Metinubu is someone that had so much pedigree in terms of uh, politics, in terms of uh, developing. Uh, young ones, nurturing politicians to become great men as he is. So we now decided, okay, let's uh, organize ourselves as Northern Young Professionals and then canvas support for our principal, Aswaju Bola Metinubu. Because when he was the governor of Lagos State, Bola Metinubu has done so much. He is an institutional reformer. Bola Metinubu, during his tenure as governor, you know, he introduced this Jigibola, if you can remember. These are programs that are given free glasses, you know, for eye treatment. You know, you get free eye treatment, free antenatal uh, services for with pregnant women. He has done a lot. That is on the social side of uh, the society. And that is what we want to see. Right. Somebody that can, you know... Uh, all those at the lower cadre of the society feel that, yes, they have a government. Mm. Let them be getting the dividends of democracy at the grassroots level. Right, These were part of the social programs he had when he was governor of Lagos State. All right, Mr. Yakasai. And quite then interesting on the economy side... That even you know, from the north, well, if I may quickly okay. come in, Mr. Tanko Yakasai, uh, quite interesting that even from the north, you're aware of some goings on in uh, Lagos as far back as the, that time. Uh, let's talk about your expectations going into the elections. You were talking about economy. Let's take it from there. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, coming to the general elections, we want to see someone like Aswaju Bola Metinubu because the country itself, it needs constitutional reform. So that uh, what he has done for like the judiciary, you know, he increased their welfare greatly and everybody was so happy with that. And then more so, you know, the civil servants package. These are things that will make the system work. Once that is done on the side of the, you know, constitutional amendment, then you look at what programs are you going to implement. Uh, a number of times I've heard Aswaju Bola Metunubu talk about the commodity exchange market. This, we used to hear about it when we were much younger, you know, but suddenly it disappeared, and nobody is looking at that angle. Because, I mean, like in the north, a lot of our market, uh, our farmers will, make, will get their produce, and then they will end up, I mean, drying it like tomatoes on the roads. So with that commodity exchange market, all these goods the farmers produce will be taken out of the market. You know, the government will mop it up, and then they will sell it out. And this will bring about regulation of prices. So these are kind of the programs we feel Asuajo Bola Metunubu has done 
you know, in Lagos and he's planning to do for the country, and then such programs that will, you know, revive the economy of this country. Because like now, we've gone into recession several times. If we have had such programs, you know, we wouldn't be where we are today. And then he took Lagos as a governor to the fifth largest economy. He said it even at the convention. Can you imagine, out of all the countries in Africa, Lagos is the fifth. So imagine if this person, by God's grace, becomes the president of this country. That means Nigeria will be competing among the top 10 or 20 economies of the world because we'll be, we'll be far ahead because we have, the, we have the, I mean, the, the facility, we have the mineral resources, we have all it takes is just to put these things together. That is what we are liking. Once you have somebody like Aswaji Bola Metunubu with this foresight, I mean, Nigeria will be great again. All right, Mr. Tanko you know, All indeed, these issues of importation, Mr. Tanko Yagasai, you know, of goods. If you can hear me, indeed, you've ruled out a lot of achievement of uh, the APC standard bearer years of experience. Uh, there are some in some quarter who are uh, concerned about his age. Are you in any way uh, concerned about that? What's your take on that? Why do the white man say the words of elders are words of wisdom? You need old men because they have the wisdom. And we, the young ones, we learn from them. If you know Aswaju Bolaimes Tinimbu's team is full of young men and women, vibrant young men and women, and he mentor them and they become good in their various fields. So leave the age matter. The capacity he has, what His Excellency Aswaji Bolabe Dunubu could do, me and you cannot do it. The hours he has meetings, the rigor of this campaign he's gone through, I mean, you can't beat it. You know, when he was in Kano, we received him during the, I mean, meeting with the convention delegates. <laughs> A lot of our northern young professionals were down. But he slept, and before we knew it, the following morning, he has gone to Nasara State. From Nasara State, he went to Jigar State on the same day, a day after he was in Delta, you know, and then so, and so on and so forth. Mm. We, are, we can't stand that, rigor. So it's just a political gimmick. People oh. are just using this because they are seeing him from afar. You need an elder man to get his wisdom, and then you learn from him. Indeed. It's America has Joe Biden. How old is Joe Biden? Okay, you the road to 2023 the is on the, already, the, the Mr. Tanko Yakasai. I must sincerely appreciate it. Chairman, Northern Young Professionals for Tinubu, Abdullah Tanko Yakasai. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on TVC News at 7.